Hey everyone. It's been a while. Um, I just wanted to make uh, this little video to explain a little bit of what's happening for me now. My next new adventure in healing. So right now I'm in Vancouver and um, I been here since uh, Monday and on Monday I um, underwent what is called a functional neurological exam so um, the person the doctor that um, I'm seeing has studied um, functional neurology she is a chiropractor that has um, done ex um, extended studies in functional neurology and um, this exam was pretty intense uh, on the first day I spent about six hours uh, on Monday um, in, in at the the clinic um, I had previously made a video that day uh, I wanted to share with you guys just about the intensity and the fear that these types of exams bring up. Um, I've been having trouble uploading this video that I made for you guys, but so you may or may not get it. But um, all to say, um, it's quite intense to really uh, take the time to see what's um, actually happening it, for me is in my brain what's what's functioning and what's not functioning and um, for me why it brought up a lot of fear is because I did do a neurological exam um, uh, just less than a year ago and some of the things that I could do then I couldn't do on Monday and um, that definitely brought up a lot of fear. It was if it, it was really intense to see that things were kind of slipping away, and um, yeah, it's always freaky to um, become aware of that and to consciously be aware that you're slipping away. <laughs> it's, it's kind of freaky, but the good news is is that. Um, um, the brain is um, amazing and there's ways to work with it so that it can function again in a great way and so that's what this test uh, is all about and that's what functional neurology is all about is to find the areas that aren't functioning and to come up with a plan to um, get things working better so that's what we've been doing and um, it's been really interesting to see um, the changes. So today is now um, Wednesday, so I've been to the clinic every day, Monday for six hours, Tuesday for a couple hours, and I'm going back again today. Um, the areas of my brain that are having complications is um, my left brain and my midbrain and uh, so um, I, I'll have to kind of review all this it's been really overwhelming so I'm relaying the information as best as I can but the cerebellum as well so um, there's these really which seem random exercises that are kind of um, helping um, these areas of my brain uh, get stronger. And so when I say random, one of the exercises, and I have to do these exercises every hour, one of them is um, counting some months of the year backwards in my head. Another one is smelling uh, lavender I happen to like the smell of lavender, so that works through my 
uh, left nostril uh, for two seconds, holding it, exhaling out for four seconds. Um, another one is making a figure eight motion with my arm. So they're all like these random kind of um, exercises that I have to do every hour. So um, the, what's cool about this is that um, they'll know right away if this is going to help you or not because um, the results should be right away if it's helping you or not. So the first result that showed right away that this was helping, that um, these were the proper exercises for me. Um, during the neurological exam, there's a reflex part of it to check your reflexes. And so uh, the, my reflexes were tested quite a few times throughout the exam. And so usually, like, when you hit your knee, the bottom of your leg, your shin and your foot, um, your lower leg and foot comes up. But my reflexes, I'm basically on red alert all the time um, because I'm, I have migraines. So I'm at, you know, I'm always at the tipping point of, like, <laughs> like basically um, being in alert mode. Um, I live my life right close to the tipping point all the time. And so that's where I, migraines are triggered by anything. And so... This shows with my reflexes when she hit my knee, my whole leg just jolts up. It's kind of freaky. It's weird. But anyways, by the end of the day, um, that stopped happening just by doing these little random exercises, which was really cool. Um, I could go on and on about this. Um, the other thing that happened, my sleeping pattern was a little bit different that night. It's, it was really subtle. I can't really tell you. It's not that I slept more, but my the sleep felt different and then the second day I have insane amount of pain in my neck if you could imagine having headaches every day how much tension that would cause in your neck um, uh, so the first day when she was testing my neck you know just to touch here um, I, I freak out there, there's it's so sensitive around my neck Yesterday, she was manipulating, like she was touching it, and I, I didn't even notice that she was touching it. Like the, the sensitivity was almost gone. So you can touch my neck now, and it takes a while before I'm um, irritated by it, <laughs> which is crazy. That's not with massage or uh, acupuncture or anything. That was just from counting the months of the year backwards and... Very, very interesting. So I'm, I'm, I'm really, I don't, I'm blown away by how, by how intricate we are as human beings, by, by how complex the little things that need to go on for me to inhale and exhale everything that goes on in my brain and my body and my bloodstream and my everything it's it's, it's really cool so although monday i was full of fear um knowing that this fear was impermanent i could sense that you know it would <sighs> settle um now I do feel that although I'm going to have to make some major changes, um, I won't be able to snowboard this winter, I most likely won't be able to mountain bike next summer, um, anything that's too much stimulation. Um, I, I, basically, I have to chill the F out. Like There's no more messing around with that. I can feel my personality wanting to fight that so bad, like, no, I am just this is extreme go, go, go personality, but no, if I want to retrain my brain to create new pathways so that I'm back in balance, I need to chill the F out. I need to make sure that there's little, it, that I'm not overstimulated every moment of my life. I even have to wear... Can you see it in here? Um, 
cotton in my ear so that um, my left brain doesn't get overstimulated with sound. That's made a huge difference. It's crazy just having a little bit of cotton in my ear. Um, I can still hear from this ear, but there's less sound coming through this ear. It's just it's relaxing me completely. It's really cool. Anyway, I've talked quite a bit, but I'll, I'll, I'm, I was going to post little, I found a few YouTube videos about um, functional neurology and how it's helped other people. Um, I can post short videos and then there's a longer movie, it's like a half an hour movie, which was really cool. And um, I don't know yet like if what this will do, but I'm definitely um, going to continue uh, giving it a go. It's just these simple exercises and we'll see how it goes and uh, I'll just keep you posted on, on, on how, how it's going, how it's working. So, um, I'll, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just really, yeah, I'm blown away. So thank you all that have supported me through my journeys, and um, I love you all very much. Bye.